Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So yesterday, uh, let's discuss what happened and uh, what the data points are suggesting. So uh, data points are a little bit shocking, let me tell you that and uh, watch till the end uh, and I'll explain one by one what uh, everything happened. So first, uh, tomorrow, uh, though Nifty was moving, the price wasn't moving both on the call side as well as on the put side. So people will now say that it's uh, synthetic futures, but again, you calculate synthetic futures from the price itself. So it's just a justification. So uh, anyways, uh, now coming down to the charts, like just look at, for example, like let's take 22,500. Okay. So now let's look at the price. So it's like at, let's say at 11.05, the price is at 110 and at uh, 14.50, the price is at 110. Okay. So 11.05, let's look at when Nifty was. So 11, yes. So 11. 05. So this is when Nifty was okay. 11.05. This is the starting of the candle. So almost at let's say 22,530. Okay, 22,530. Now where was uh, Nifty at around uh, 14.45? So it was at around 14.45. So look at here. So 14.45. It's at 22,550. Okay. So almost like uh, it fell at around uh, 80 points but still price is the same so uh, that's why like uh, and uh, so basically like uh, in uh, in india like uh, the base price is not the spot price which is taken uh, it's taken uh, the future price is taken but anyway still like uh, what what can you do like if nifty is moving and uh, you don't get the price though even if you take position so uh, yes, now talking about our uh, trade of uh, the first trade of the day. So it was uh, like taken in the morning at around 10:24 uh, a.m. Uh, uh, we bought like calls there, and it, uh, I shared it uh, uh, on Twitter as well. Here, if you look at the time, it's 10:26 a.m. So someone was trying to take Nifty up, and that is also ge getting reflected in the EOD data as well. So, uh, exactly at our support 22,516, you see someone did try to take Nifty up, but they failed. Okay. So, uh, I posted it on Twitter, but I said that it's a little risky. Why? Because our money flow was a uh, negative. So our money flow is, was in the negative zone at that time, uh, but our support level was working and uh, someone was, was trying to take it up. And that's why like, uh, we went and uh, now you can see that 22,500, if you look at here, that is uh, 1024. So this is this is where uh, the it was bought at 113 and then it went to 124. The price went to 124. Again, uh, price could have moved higher, but uh, again, uh, it did not yesterday. Next take talking about uh, our the next trade was shared on uh, uh, for the members here. That is uh, 10 uh, here 1108. Okay. Again, we bought 22,600 CE at 104.50. So again, we, uh, like I took the advantage of this one, this move, uh, which was again, it was taking support there. So 1108, if you look at uh, on the chart, so uh, this is this is the candle. Okay, if the price went to 102. We bought it at uh, 104.50, and uh, we means I, and uh, then it went. Uh, the price shot up at 120. Okay. It was shared with the members and then again uh, we shorted. So as soon as like our level broke down, we shorted as well Nifty, but uh, we shot, uh, we went with 22,500p at 135, but though again Nifty was moving down, but the price wasn't moving up and so closed it at 145 and uh, uh, overall gained uh, 27 points. But this short was also discussed uh, on Twitter as well. If you come here to my Twitter profile, so uh, I, I clearly said here, uh, that is, I have shorted. So here was the one, okay. Shorted nifty, but the premiums are not hardly increasing with the move. So that's what, uh, I even showed it to you on the chart. So nothing could be done, but yes, again, 27%. So almost like if you look at the buying prices, all, almost like near about hundred. So, uh, 27 points or 27% is also not a very bad. Uh, for a Friday like this. So anyways, if you want such analysis, you can be a part of the derivatives indicator group and I have extended this uh, offer uh, for this weekend and it will no longer, it's a 
uh, uh, till tomorrow it's valid and uh, it won't be valid from Monday onwards. So uh, if you want uh, to be a part of the derivatives indicator group where you get uh, access to these money flow indicators, as you can see, like it showed that uh, Nifty can go down, the scores went negative and then Nifty went down. And uh, yes, so uh, the thing is that uh, you get access to these money flow indicators and you get access to the telegram channel where I say share my uh, trades uh, as well as share my analysis about these HFT traders or the big guys. Now let's uh, go to the data points and show you that yes, who was it who was trying to take the uh, take the market up here. So let's come here that is let's go to the EOD data. So <clears throat> first of all futures data is really shocking because FII's uh, the amount of positions they closed yesterday that is uh, not yesterday the uh, on Thursday monthly expiry so almost the same amount they have again initiated in the future short and uh, but they uh, some uh, FII's they have also taken futures long so I think these are two different FII's one is long one is short but the short ones are really heavy okay now let's come to the uh, option chain. Option chain FIIs are like put, uh, option buyers now. They have bought puts and they have bought calls but they have bought more more puts. Huge amount of puts they have bought and uh, not only that prop decks have also bought puts and uh, here let's come to uh, the data. So uh, this is the one. The one who bought calls. So they were trying to take the market up and we went with them in the morning and uh, we gained okay so that's how you basically have to survive in option series right uh, like what the timing is going right now so you have to catch these big guys and go with them take your profit and get out okay so you can't wait like uh, ha bhai 2x 3x let's wait so if you wait you are gone and uh, when it really sometimes it goes 2x you miss it okay fine don't regret okay because uh, out of uh, let's say out of 10 times five to six times this will happen that is it won't be two x or maybe like eight times also it won't be two x only two times so if you regret two times and uh, do the same for eight times you will be wiped out so don't regret now <clears throat> uh, let's come to the uh, other points and also not only that we also captured two x okay this week uh, we captured two x on thursday i showed it to you okay so uh, the, i mean it's not like we you don't even also capture now coming back to the data point so What's the data point saying? That is FII is like some FII is are long, some FII is are short. Uh, for now, Gift Nifty is up by 75 points. And uh, also prop decks, what they are doing? They have heavily shorted calls. Heavily, heavily. Okay, very heavily they have shorted calls. Like just look at the number of call short and number of put short. The number of call short is double. Exactly like almost double. So now coming down to the other data points that is uh, put buying has been done again by these prop decks as well heavy put buying so what do they know like we don't know so is again some war is going to escalate or something like it's like a shocking data because elections are going on like th during these times usually like the government won't uh, like want the market to fall so index management should be going on but uh, again why then these put buyings so for what are these uh, being done <coughs> Also, let's come to <coughs> the call buying. So, Propdex, though they haven't been, uh, haven't bought calls, but they have bought a good amount of calls. Like they have properly hedged their positions. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That these days, index management would surely go on. So that's why they have shorted calls, huge, but they have properly hedged them. Okay, so that's the thing. That is uh, like they have properly hedged them and. Uh, so even if market goes up, I think uh, with their put buying, they would do put short and to cover up their uh, losses in the put uh, buying. So overall, but let's discuss the overall after uh, whatever adjustments they will do, we will try to catch them during the live market hours as we all uh, always do. But for now, what the data points are suggesting is that someone uh, in the FI is a long and someone in the FI is a short, but the ones who are short, they are in heavy quantity they like they have shorted in heavy quantity and prop decks are overall like short okay they have bought puts they have shorted calls and they, not only that they have shorted calls in huge amount and they have also bought puts in huge amount so and also talking about uh, uh, futures prop decks also have shorted futures okay so 
mostly products have shorter futures so data points are suggesting bearishness and so my final verdict would be sell on rise and uh, that's the thing so again if you want such analysis during the live market hours i've been showing for uh, over the past days uh, so you can be a part of the derivatives indicator group and uh, don't forget to take the advantage of uh, uh, if you want to join don't take uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, forget to take the advantage of this discount offer and if you like my analysis and uh, during the live hours uh, live market hours and uh, 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 so please don't forget to put a like and uh, share it among the other traders who want such analysis and uh, who, uh, i mean uh, who can get uh, help using such analysis and thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one